I'm going to be Jim Gray, and you guys can be Tom Brady, at least for a moment. Do you feel underappreciated on the Dan Patrick show? Paulie? Uh, I do not. I am very comfortable with what I do here, and it's all my appreciation is in my own head. I don't really care what anyone else thinks. Okay. Seton O'Connor, do you feel underappreciated on this show? Hold on. I think uh, two people are calling BS on me there. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah that's, a, that's a great answer to you say on the microphone. Okay. That's what I honestly think. You don't, what, do I, what am I lying about? Okay. So Tom Brady says that hold everyone on, needs on, to be on. appreciated. Hold on. What am I lying about? <laughs> Look how upset he is right now. Everybody wants to feel more appreciated at work. It's like such a common thing. The, the idea that all of my appreciation is in my own head is interesting. It's also very egotistical. If you want to break it down, it means that I believe in myself at a high level. You could make that case as well. Okay. Seton O'Connor, do you feel? Yes, McLevin. I'm with Seton. I'm, I am dubious of Paul's statement. I just want to make that clear. Okay. Do you, do you think he needs the appreciation? No, he said, I don't care what anyone else thinks about me. And I know we all aspire to be that way, but I think that's an impossible state for a human to be in. I, that's I, where I'm coming from. If someone whose opinion I respect has an issue with me, I get upset. Sure. If any of you guys had an issue with something I was doing, sure. Mm. But, you know, and a few other people. But other okay. than that, no. Seton, do you feel underappreciated? At times. Okay. McLovin? Sometimes. Globally, no. But, yeah, there are definitely times where I feel like something I did was underappreciated. Absolutely. Like what? Well, maybe not lately. <laughs> um, I have no idea. Like, so, oh, okay. Um, sometimes we'll all be brainstorming ideas. And I'll come up with one and I'll get lost in the shuffle who came up with the idea, which is how a team should work. We all know logically that's how it should work. But then at the end, when the idea comes up and nobody, usually nobody gets credit, then I'm like, ah, damn, I, I came up with that, that kind of thing. Okay. Yes, for I see pats on the back and one's confidence level in what they do as two separate things. I don't know. Maybe they are tied together in some way, shape, or form. But whether I get one or 50 pats on the back, I know deep down, regardless of who I'm working with or for, that I do what I do at a very high level and that my like career doesn't end with the Dan Patrick show or like all my eggs are in one basket and my whole life story is based on being a Danette. I, I feel very strongly about my resume and what I've accomplished and it's nice to be appreciated, but it, it won't, it won't shake my confidence in what I do, whether I get that pat on the back or not, I guess is the best way I can say that. Okay. Seton, when do you feel underappreciated? Um, do you have an example? Uh, no, well, I mean, I don't know that I can point to one specific example because sort of like I said in the first hour, feeling underappreciated isn't necessarily that something that happens. Like today I felt underappreciated unless unless you feel like you did really good work and you feel like you should get a like, hey, nice job today and you don't get it. I mm -hmm. guess that's a form of feeling underappreciated. Okay. But when you come up, uh, you know, it's to me it's more of like a pattern of things rather than just one specific incident if you're feeling underappreciated. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.